All right. Good morning, everyone. Lindsay Duff here. It is, what day is it? I don't even know. Tuesday, June 20th. That means it is two days away from my son's birthday. So, what do we got going on here? Well, I'm just looking at, we've pulled up and reached this area that it said was obviously going to hold. By the way, the MACDs reacted off of it. It's taken us down to the, towards the highest time frame, EMA, which is a great area for a bounce. We just have to see what the, um, how the MACDs are behaving when we get down there. Um, it's just turning over on the 1597, which, um, it has an open with strength to the downside. We've got, we're at this area that's kind of held up just a little bit, which is right near the uh, highest time frame EMA, the HTF EMA and the 4181. Watching this roll up here, this is our first sign of a slowdown. It has pulled back in the area to push down. I'm watching these MACDs here. All right. I mean, just missed the short that pulled back in here to push down because I was so certain it was going to go up. And so, you know, that just happens sometimes. So let me sit here and watch for a moment. Got some strength picking up to the downside. So I'm going to give this one shot at a pullback. I'm not going to give it very much room to go. And the reason I'm giving this the shot to pull back, we're pulling right into the EMA. There is still strength down, but this is a great area that it could bounce back up. This is trading with the areas and um, kind of ignoring what the um, MACDs or what the indicators, the EMAs say about it in the lower time frames. So in here on the 1597, 375 would be my two points. Let's watch this for just a moment. Just looking at these are still showing strength up. These are just starting to turn. Now I'm not anticipating this to turn the whole market around, but at least it's a high probability area where we can um, anticipate a bounce to happen. What I really like here is we've made the double bar area on both time frames. Strength up still on the on the uh, six ten. It's going to be our first indication of a slowdown. But look at those MACDs. The the price bars are closing at the top of each bar, which is showing strength. The MACDs are wide and spread apart. We are below the zero line, which says yes, this can still go down. So in situations like this, you've really got to manage the trade instead of hoping that it comes back to hit your target. Okay, here's our first tiny bit of a slowdown. I am going to go ahead and take the exit. And when I say tiny bit of a slowdown, this bar has closed towards the top. We haven't had a whole ton of strength pushing back up. I'm not going to give this one a ton of weight after everything has been pushing down. This could be the one that turns things around. You still have strength in the MACDs to the upside on the 610, but when you're taking trades going against, you take it at the first hint of, hmm, I'm not sure if this is going to push through. 
So does this mean I can turn around and take a short trade? Well, yeah, yes and no. I mean, it's pulling back into an area that has given us a bounce already to push down. We are below all of the EMAs. I'm sorry, are, we are below all of the zero lines on all three of these time frames. Okay, well, it looks like it continued to push up, which is awesome. We're waiting till, uh, you know, at least until it slows down here. And let's show, had I been waiting until just a tiny bit of slowdown on the 610, where the exit would be. <laughs> you know, I was actually just <clears throat> creating a video yesterday talking about these bars with the closes to the upside. It's showing a strong move. And so I had a strong move here. It was even closing at the top portion of the upside. Um... So really, it told me I could still hold on a little bit longer, but uh, I'm, t I'm really okay with taking a reversal. Um, and uh, taking my exit early. So here would be, mm, that's still a halfway point. And we still got a lot of strength to the upside on the MACD, so I'm looking at where my exit was based solely off of areas in the first hint of a slowdown. Um, <clears throat> had we been waiting, or had I been waiting for an actual exit, I'll show you where it, I would have taken it had I waited a little bit longer. If this closes towards the bottom, MACD is rolling around the zero line, yeah, it would be here. Actually, it would be on the next bar. It'd be right here. Still a lot of strength pushing to the upside. Kind of move that out of the way while we're watching this. So there's a couple of things that influence that push to the upside. It definitely had nothing to do with the 610 EMAs because those are strong and spread apart. It had a lot to do with the 1597 EMAs being very weak and a lot of distance to run back towards them, which keep that in mind and stay in that trade just a little bit longer. Um, and also being at the 4181 HTF EMA, high time frame EMA. This means this line right here is the lower time frame EMA on the next FIB number. That sounds so confusing but uh, 10,946 if we skip a fib number after 4181 the next one is 10946 this is the um, lowest time frame so this would be like this one on the higher time frame and the higher the time frame the EMA the more weight I'm gonna give to it okay it is an area where it continue can continue pushing down so we definitely could keep pushing up or push back down from right here. It's kind of a catch. 22, the MACDs have stopped. It's pushing back up just a little bit, but it really could just turn very easily. I see this happen often. It pushes down, and then a very weak movement, and back down. Now the MACDs on the 1597 are still showing some strength up. They're just barely starting to turn. Oh, the 4181. I guess my mind is kind of stuck in the long position right now because the short is definitely the way to go. So I need to evaluate that, evaluate that about myself. There we go. Well, maybe it's not something wrong with me having my mind in the longs. <laughs> it did get a beautiful spot for the long trade to continue. Oh, my squirrel buddy is back. I love my squirrel buddy. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Technically, I could still be in the long. I would never had still been in the long. I've seen the slowdown and been out. Really got to push through here. I don't see that happening right now. I'm just pulling my risk in tighter and tighter because it got in so late on this. I was looking at something on another screen, just a uh, something on Facebook. But anyways, 
We're not going to judge me for that. <laughs> I'm watching these MACDs. If they start pushing up, then I'm not going to wait around for this. There's still 1,100 ticks, so it could very easily still roll down. So it's been not a super strong push up. These EMAs are starting to open up just a little bit. I don't like how this one is remaining flat. Um, that could easily change. It's really late on this entry. But I can't think about that. I'm going to think about what's happening right now because if I spend time thinking about what I did, I'm not paying attention to what I'm going to do. I need this particular BB that is trying to push up to really just stay flat here or roll down. There we go. Going in just a little bit more. Like I said, it was really late on that entry. I'm not going to allow this come back and stop me out for a huge loss. I have not checked news at all today. It's 9.30. All right. Let's roll in here. Pretty soon here, I'm going to be moving this to a break even. Uh, one, one tick above. It's pulling into the zero line here. It really needs to roll over. It hasn't even rolled over yet, but uh, still pushing down. All right. I'm going to move two ticks behind here once, and if it does push down, then that'll put me with a tick in profit. And let's go ahead and just move this down here in case it does push down further. MACDs are leading just a little bit lower here than the last time, but they are right at the zero line. Uh, we'll put that at a break even if this pushes down further. Just watching the way that the MACDs are reacting on the 1597, which doesn't make me super hopeful. But this is really what it's telling me. And I've got to listen. I need these to roll. Alright, I'm going to get two ticks behind here. I'm going to break even. This comes back, then uh, it's not going to take any of my profits. It's not going to, I mean, it's going to be commissions. That's it. All right, starting to push down a little bit more. Like these still have some distance between them. I like how these are rolling over. They're just taking forever to roll over today. Watching these MACDs right here. Not really pushing down, even though this price bar is pushing down really hard. So, I'm going to roll with it, baby. I'm going to go two ticks behind here. Keeps pushing down. We'll be right behind that resistance area that's held a couple times. Mm. These MACDs are not making me super hopeful. I'm going to be prepared when my exit shows itself. But just in case this does decide to... Ooh, I was going to say if this decides to push down, let's look at where it could go to. But it looks like... 
Right, I'm going to go ahead and take my exit. It's right in here where the BB is not pushing down after that strong push. And they're actually kind of trying to push up on the 4181. So it wasn't the prettiest of exits I could have taken. Definitely could have been just another tick or so. I mean, it's, it's fine. Just be a pullback for a push down more. But I really liked my chances. This is pushed down pretty hard in the price. You know, you had all these closes at the bottom, closes at the top, and it was slowing here. Um, this MACD is really what. And now, yes, there are 2,000 ticks left in it, but it's this BB right here that I'm watching that it pushed down with not a lot of strength in the MACDs, even though it was doing that in the price. And um, then it's just pushing back up at this point. So, all right. So this definitely wasn't the best entry and exit. I could have caught a few ticks earlier. Uh, my exit really isn't that bad. All right, as it turned around, A little bit higher pivot. I'm liking this for a possible push back up. All right. I well, hope that short one worked out anyways. Oh, these long bars are great. Kind of like it's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Just the port area pretty close below us. <clears throat> and a resistance area pretty close above us. I'm kind of missing out on the long. Where's it going? It's <laughs> Trail base, you open the doors for a little bit. <clears throat> so I took two trades. I think they were each a point a piece. Uh, yes. So four points in total with two contracts. Um, you know that's uh, it's not a bad day for a couple. Not even an hour of work, and uh, that's gonna wrap it up. So, hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday, and I'm going to go work on making stuff for you. Okay, so this pulled back a little bit, pushed down, and I got into this one. Strength down in the MACDs, the slow and roll here is really what's helping me to stay in this. Um... Once it pushes down here, I will move this to a break even. If it doesn't push down here, I'll move it to a break even anyways and get out soon. <laughs> so I stopped my trading earlier and I went to the restroom and came back and said, I want to give this just one more shot. I'm going to go ahead and move that to break even. The MACD, say this should push down. If it doesn't, then I don't want it to come back right back around, and I'll let it take me out with no loss. Look how the MACDs are still pushing down really hard here, even though it's pulled back. This BB did nothing. It's rolling very slowly, but it's rolling on the 4181. I kind of like covering it where I can't see. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. There we go. There's an ant crawling on me. <laughs> I reached this previous area. I don't expect it to hold here. I actually don't expect it to hold if it gets down here. So I'm going to actually move this to the 61% area. But I'm going to be very mindful of what is happening. Closes at the bottom is showing strength in the move. All right, the next area that could really create a bounce. So you need to watch the MACDs even on the lower time frame. It didn't push past here, so I moved my wrists a little too quick. Move it up just one more. I needed to really close past this area 
to move it down. SmackD is really need to roll. It says we have a chance for it to keep pushing down. It is at that area that really could give us that bounce. So I'm just watching it closely. What I'm looking at here is MACDs are leading lower than the last time. Uh, just right about equal than the last time we were at this area. They're nowhere near equaling these MACDs back here, but uh, this doesn't mean it's going to turn around right here right now. And it might. So that's resistance area that's turned into support a couple of times. This is totally flattened out. It's today, Tuesday. There's really nothing to concern ourselves with. Okay. I'm not digging this right here. So I'm going to be aware if this next BB closes up, I'm getting the heck out. If it closes down, and then I'm going to give it a little more time. I'm just to roll down to stay in this trade. Oh, I got a call coming in. I've got to pause it. Okay, so that one closed down a little bit, but this next one is really making me just come on, because you can see it was popping up, so it's trying to give that pop-up. It's at an area for it. It's just almost like trying to fake me out, I guess you could say. <laughs> It pushed down that past here. I'm going to move it down one more tick, but it's really got to push down past here first. I'm going to set that there, but I am going to be prepared. Here we go. Taking that exit. I don't like the way this pushed back up. And guys, this could go for 15 points after this. What I'm really watching is that we've come into an area that's held several times. It's right into the EMA on the 4181. Yes, this could break past here. No, I'm not going to wait and see. Um, and I've taken three trades, a point a piece, I believe. Yeah. So that's six points. Um, pretty much done. I'm actually working on, if you guys can see, I'm working on taking trades in the opposite direction when I see them. This could keep going for 20 million points. I'm okay with my exit because, and I know I, you hear me say those type of things, because sometimes I have to reassure myself that I'm okay with the fact that I took a little bit of an early exit um, right into the EMAs. I mean, guys, a point is a point is a point. If it goes for eight points, that's fine. I'm just happy with the fact that I made some profits off of it. And that's what we're going to do for today. So it pulled right into this area that it held several times. Um, can see on even I'm looking at one higher time frame I'm going to bring it over because this is the same area as here the MACDs have pushed down but this is really an area that could hold things up yeah it could have gotten a tick or two better exit or entry on any of these sure um, but I'm not going to let those really keep me from um, worrying about it so all right, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm really, really, really done this time. Just remember, ask friends to subscribe and, um, you know, be prepared. I'm going to be putting out something um, that explains this a little bit more. I mean, guys, yes, I understand this very well, but, you know, I still have to deal with paying attention to the things that I see, emotions that are involved. That's just part of life. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all have an excellent day and I'll see you catch on the flip side.